Welcome to this week's Motoring Forum where we discuss topics of vital importance to the general motoring public. It seems such a long time ago when the Land Transportation Office decided to hold off the issuance of license plates to new motorcycles to await legislation in Congress seeking to increase the size of motorcycle plates for easy identification, especially when two-wheeled vehicles are used for criminal purposes or in case of accidents. This came after the LTO contracted supplier of license plates to motor vehicles, including motorcycles and mopeds, had problems in the courts and with the Commission on audit resulting in delays in the supply of distribution of license plates. This led to an inevitable backlog in the issuance of license plates. A backlog that the LTO estimates has now reached more than 6 million. It also seemed that legislators, both in the House and in the Senate, were taking their time resolving the issue of the dimensions of the license plates and the size of the alphanumerics. But it has been reported that legislators have reached agreement on the size of the license plates for motorcycles, and even before a law has been passed determining the dimension and size of the license plates. LTO has begun the procurement process for motorcycle license plates, meeting agreed-upon standards. Motoring Forum visited LTO Executive Director Romeo Veracruz to ask, what is the latest word from Congress on the approved dimension of motorcycle license plates? The Senate and the House of Representatives have approved the size of the motorcycle plates. And uh, the size the, uh, the resizing of the motorcycle plates is uh, being uh, left to the uh, discretion or judgment of the Land Transportation Office. The word that the proposal to adopt the type and size of motorcycle plates issued in Germany or Europe was carried in both versions of the legislation proposed in the two chambers of Congress. Is this true? And what will the license plate look like? They have been me a, a, a sample. This is a sample of the plates that will be that will be used. No. It is a uh, 225 mm by 200 mm and two alpha five uh, numeric. The motorcycle clubs uh, suggested a, a smaller one. Okay, a smaller one. But we chose this, and this will be visible from 15 meters. Away. 15 meters po, magkikita. 15 to 20 meters nga ito, magkikita ito. Itong, itong size na ito. Para ito sa Europe, yung mga ganito, ganito kalaki. And where on the motorcycle will this be placed? Will there be two per motorcycle? Sa likod pa rin, ho. Same. Same. Same place, no? Kasi yung merong nag, nag-suggest na dalawa. Isa, isa sa likod, isa sa harap, pero because of safety consideration, no? uh, ang Congress natin said, ito na lang sa likod. Aside from the license plate itself, what does the LTO plan to use to help identify a registered motorcycle? Meron tayo yung security features, no? the usual, and some enhancement. Ang pinakamaganda natin is the RFID stickers. It will be placed, a motorcycle, it will be placed doon sa headlock. No? Kasi yung Yung, ano, yung RFID <coughs> will state kung ano yung status ng vehicle. Ha? Status ng vehicle, may alarma ba to? And then it will indicate the engine number, the chassis number, the uh, CR number, and everything. No? At saka yung plate number, nandun na sa RFID. Kaya pag nagpa-renew ka, hindi na kailangan na mag-stencil-stencil. RFID mo na lang. Makikita na doon, kompleto na. No? So, yun ang mga enhancements na gagawin natin. Pabilis na yung processing sa renewal of uh, motorcycle. Now that the dimensions, font, and font size, and other features have been decided, what is LTO doing now? Now we start the procurement process this month and then hope to receive this uh, by maybe November or December of this year. Because we have a, a big backlog on motorcycle plates. Siguro mga more than 6 million na. So this will be a start of addressing this backlog. Finally, can the LTO assure motorcycle owners the more than 6 million still without license plates that their rides will soon sport this Euro size and Euro look plates? I know that the motorcycle owners 
are uh, waiting for the release of the motorcycle place. As I have said, we have a backlog of more than 6 million plates, pieces. No? So, maraming naghihintay. So, I would like to inform them that the LTO has started the procurement process of this of this place. In addition to the place that will be pro that will be delivered by the old supplier, the PPI and JKG. So hopefully by let's say by next year end of 2019 or early part of 2020, wala na pong backlog ng mga plates. That's this week's morning forum where we discuss significant topics vital to the general morning public, courtesy of Suzuki Philippines.